Mulale, everybody. This is your boy, the RC Koga. This is East Standard Season Day 5, and I think it's. I'm gonna say it's episode even 51, 52, or 53. It doesn't matter, but yeah. We know Stu is still keeping Rainy in the room, locked her in there so she won't try to go out and take those painkillers. She addicted to you, remember? She was an addict. Stuart know what it's like because he was one himself where he told Colin everything. Now, because we know Colin, he told Colin you ain't the only one with secret. Because we know he like guys. And I think he still like girls, but he, we know him and Ben is going to be dating sometime tomorrow, I think, or next week. We know Whitney will be back tomorrow, too. So pretty much they're going to, um, they're going to talk. We'll see how that play out. This conversation would be interested on this show. How you old? Not how you old? East Standard. I gotta do that next too. But anyway, we know that Mel, Melanie, Mel comes from sharing that if she don't have her two grand, she gonna expose her that the liar and the cheat she is. Let's not forget she been messing with Keanu last year, I believe. And kept messing around because we know the baby's not filled. We know the baby is Keanu. And yeah, pretty much, we know Mel trying to take down Sharon to expose her. If she give her 200 grand, then she won't, she will keep her dirty secret. Because she confronted her, and then, of course, Sharon got the last, got the last words this time. But this time, Melanie came back and she sent her a message. Even it was a, even as a, she took this photos a while ago, and we know she didn't touch Danny. She was just trying to pull a point that you not to be not she not to be fucked with, Mel not to be fucked with. She just want to take her down because they know no one didn't care about her son because we know he's crazy, and everybody say he's a psychopath. Just going in, we know we knew him since there was kids. I mean, that was, she said that before a couple of episodes ago. But we got to see Jay, Phil, and Ben. They went to go do a little job. Jay wasn't down for it at first. But then when Phil say this, say something, that's when Jay decided to change his mind. The dude took the hit for Ben. And of course he was a little disappointed. Said he got to get the work because we know he will get the great the sanitary. We know halfway worked with him too. You know. That's his last name, matter of fact. And then those two couple, they heard noise coming from upstairs. Jay was wondering what the hell was going on and asked Callum what's going on. And he told him that his brother locked him, his brother still locked him, her in the room because pretty much he tried to get her to change, stop because she refused to get help. That's what she, that's, that's the far I forgot that he told Stuart. I mean, Colin, that um, she refused to get help. Yeah. We also got the other one. I forgot her name. Sasha, Asha, Ash. Because she, um, when, well, before that, that's what Keegan was talking, was uh, talking to her sister. I still forgot her name. Still talking to Keegan and you know, Keegan's still trying to get his sandwich business because, you know, he don't want to go back to school. He want to do his own thing. And uh, pretty much, we know that um, Greg gave him advice, and it's like she, he took her thunder, and you could tell the way she looked at him. Yeah. And when we get there, when they was in the kitchen, she would talk to her sister, saying something. Well, I forgot what she said, but it's just all over the place. And pretty much, yeah, that's it on that part. And, you know, she did tell Keegan, you know, she see, pretty safe for our help. But, yeah, that's, and, and then, what else happened? <sighs> well, I'll try to remember. Yeah, yeah, um. Let's just talk about this part. Then um, Ann came back to the, to his restaurant and saying that she needed to clean the bathroom, clean the toilet. And you could tell she don't look like she want to do this. She said, 
I've been doing, I've been trying to save your business while you've been gone. She told him, but in tone that you guys still want her to clean that bath. And you can tell she want to quit this job. And I figured, I didn't, I saw it coming. I knew she was going to quit because he tried putting up with in bullshit. And before that, she did, uh, we see her sister did file her now. She ain't do nothing but being at the residence because, you know, she's a wait, waitress. And then when Keegan was um was talking to her, Ian showed up again and saying that you got another place you got to clean. And she told him to his face, I quit. And she tried putting up with his bullshit right in front of Keegan. And she decided what with Keegan. Her and Keegan going to be a good partner. They're going to open up Sam's business together. I think that would be a good start for them. And Tiffany, we know she's going to support him. So, let's hope his father and his mother is on board, too. So, yeah. And we also got to see Patrick's best friend. He basically still think he's trying to get over his ex-wife. His, not his ex-wife, his wife. He's having a hard time moving on. And, of course, you know, Patrick's mother-in-law came and cheered him up. And they have a little kiss moment. And she decided to say she was going to leave and... She wanted him to come with him, and he said he'll think about it. But she said, I will be leaving tomorrow. So, she, she ain't going to wait for him too long. So, I hope you thought about it. But, guys, anyway, that's all I have to say about East Standard, because I don't want to talk about everything else. But, there you is. There you go. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and make sure you share this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.